Lipedema and lymphedema actually have a lot in common. Both conditions are frequently misunderstood and misdiagnosed. While late stages of lipedema can actually cause lymphedema, lipedema is a connective tissue disorder, is a painful fat disorder. The condition is frequently misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed. According to the studies, there are up to 10% of females in the US that suffer with lipedema. Lipedema is most commonly found in the legs and sometimes in the upper body. Lymphedema is also relatively common condition and there are two main types of lymphedema primary and secondary primary lymphedema happens when your lymphatic channels the flow of the lymph in your lower extremities upper extremities is affected by a congenital disease such as malaroy disease or Meigi disease and those are usually congenital conditions evident at birth secondary lymphedema is uh, more common in the u.s it results from various conditions such as injury during traumas to the lymphatic channels infection secondary to scarring surgery etc. So secondary lipidema occurs due to damage to the lymphatic system. The lipidema primarily affects fat versus lymphedema is a primarily fluid-based disorder. It's abnormal flow of the lymph in the lymphatic channel. Lipidema does not affect the feet. So very commonly those patients will come with this typical ankle bracelet appearance. So the feet are skinny, they are spared from the edema versus lymphedema does affect the feet and the hands. Skin infections. If you have recurrent skin infections, that's a sign of uh, lymphedema. Since you have abnormal flow of the lymphatics and that affects your ability to fight the skin infections or from any minor damage on the skin, you, you might develop skin infections. Patients with lipedema usually don't get that. Lipedema affects primarily lower extremities, sometimes upper extremities. It affects uh, both lower extremities symmetrically. Lymphedema sometimes can affect only one side. With the lipedema fed, the patients will usually find abnormal and painful nodules under the skin, abnormal fat deposits that can be very tender. With the lymphedema, although it can be tender, but it's usually more diffuse, you don't find those nodular areas, those nodules of fat.